Hey, it's Nick with Us versus Herd. Sorry I wasn't able to live stream this morning. Wasn't I was feeling a bit under the weather, so just getting back into it right now. Today was a crazy, crazy day because I wasn't feeling well. I wasn't trading. I'm just getting back into the charts right now, kind of checking out where we were at today, kind of where we're going, and kind of see what my thoughts are for the week moving forward. If you guys could do me a big favor, hit the like button, definitely appreciate it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our Options Trading Live channel, link is below in the description. If you made money today, comment below, got paid. If you lost money today, comment below, learned a lesson. Now, S&Ps are down 15 right now, Dow's down 117 at the time of this video, and NASDAQ is down 47. We had an amazing, amazing run. I mean, SPY was up five and a half dollars. I mean, we're just, I mean, who would have thought that this breakout right here, well, I guess a lot of people probably did, but um, <laughs> this breakout right here just would accelerate so fast. I mean, we had a month worth of chop or more than a month worth of chop, and then we had breakout to the upside right before earnings week and this tomorrow kicks off earnings week with the bank or earnings seasons with the banks so tomorrow we have citibank johnson and johnson jp morgan and Del uh, delta banks continue on wednesday morning as well bank of america pnc wells fargo goldman sachs and then on thursday you have morgan stanley along with walgreens and we also have uh United High United Healthcare in there as well. So, you know, I was kind of anticipating a little bit of a pre-earnings run. Didn't think we would get actually this big of a pop, but once you had that break, I mean, just the buying just came in today strong. I know that this morning NASDAQ was relatively strong and S&Ps and Dow were flat, but then those came kicking into high gear as well. So Q's, looking at the Q's right now, I mean, this thing, this thing just exploded this gap up overnight and then it, you know, almost came up. What was the high today? 297. So it's coming back up to all time highs again here. You know, what I'm waiting for right now is kind of seeing what are some of these earnings reports going to, going to bring? What's the sentiment that these earnings reports are going to bring? Is it going to bring good news? Is it going to be bad news? Is this going to be, that's kind of what we expected. So I haven't, I have, I didn't put any earnings trades for JP Morgan. I do like trading the banks for earnings i probably will put on a goldman sachs position now goldman sachs i mean today i'll be looking at goldman sachs tomorrow to put on an earnings play possibly but if you look at the if you look at the banks right now you know we're all at rejection territory goldman sachs could pop down from here Bank of America. Bank of America actually was lagging pretty pretty bad, but it's in rejection territory here as well. And JP Morgan, you know, once it gets up to like the 104, 105 area, it's rejection territory as well. As you can see that the, the, the 200 day moving average, if we can cross above it, I mean, that would be a good thing, even though it's been declining quite a bit here. But Goldman Sachs, I mean, it's above the 50 day, below, above the 200 day, and above the, the 10 day. And, you know, kind of what I'm thinking about for the banks, and this is what was pretty big last last quarter and this is why you kind of see this spike up and and then then it sold off and essentially earnings really really weren't that great for for goldman sachs last quarter but trading revenues were, were really were really good that offset the other losses in their other businesses and what i'm interested in seeing here is how is trading doing now right is trading is trading going well? Trading re retail. I think retail trading is going to be down due to the due to the the choppiness over the last quarter, and then we had the huge down move. I know that there's been, a, if you look at Google Trends, there's a lot of le lot less interest in the stock market and in options trading over the last month than there was, you know, like over the summer or coming in even on like. September and even at in August. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm interested in here to see right now. But I do think, you know, t tomorrow JP Morgan is going to lead the way in terms of the bank. So I'm really interested to kind of see what JP Morgan does. And then I'm going to align my trade with Bank of America and Goldman Sachs, depending on what JP Morgan does. Now, Apple has a huge event coming up as well. Apple they have their iPhone com event coming up, and you know a lot. Obviously, a lot of people pump it pre-earnings or pre-pre-event. You know, you definitely want to be careful. You want to scale back risk. You know, this was a you know gap up and just continuous rip. I mean, it was incredible just kind of watching this day again. I didn't trade the day because I got up really late. And, you know, I got up like like I'm not even gonna tell you how late I got, up, but 
it's it's not responsible for how late I got, I got up today, and you know I missed open, and I thought you know by the time I caught it, it was already up above 122. I'm like you know what, how much more higher it has to go, and of course it went three dollars higher today. So so I just didn't I just didn't want to enter the trade. I mean I miss, I missed the big money in the morning, and I guess there was a there was also an afternoon rally as well. So you know. The, the way the market has been going, you just, you never really know. I didn't, I didn't really want to buy the top, you know, I didn't want to short, I didn't want to buy the top either. So, you know, it can get, it can get a little crazy, but looking at Apple, you know, depending on what they do for this iPhone event, they need the iPhone to come out as iPhones, like 40% of their revenues, they need iPhone to come out. So hopefully they say good things about the iPhone. It's coming out before Black Friday. Or hopefully it comes out in the next couple of weeks where they say, hey, you can order this and it comes out October 20th or whatever the case is. Sometimes they do it a week, sometimes it's two weeks. So hopefully they have good news for when the iPhone is dropping, especially before the holidays, you know. But hopefully, I mean, we don't we don't know. So that's why you have to be careful about events. You don't know what they're going to say. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, DKNG made a big bounce back today, up 3%. You know, down in here, it got a, got a little dicey sub 50. I thought, okay, it could, it could definitely bounce in this territory or, you know, it could come back down to 40 due to some of the, some of the COVID news with the NFL, you know, some things were not going well. And then they had that, then they had their uh, secondary offering at 52 a share that popped it down a little bit, but you know, it looks like there's some buyers down here at 50. So might be some share accumulation down here in, in, in the $50, $50 range. So I'm kind of watching this, kind of seeing what happens, if it's going to break down or up. I do think that it's probably going to try to bounce up to 55, but right now it is a little choppy, even though, you know, it hit, it hit 52, came back down. Now it's trying to, after hours, trying to, trying to get back up there. Um, Amazon. So Amazon, I've been looking at a trade. I didn't think it was going to have this big of a day, up 150 points, up almost 5% on the day. It was up 5% on the day at one point or over 5%. And this thing is exploring to all time highs, you know, guess 3000, 3000 was a major buy area in here. And as you can see, who knows? I mean, depending on what earnings does, the, the, the people are buying ahead of Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime Day is coming up this week as well. And then we do have earnings on Amazon, Amazon next Thursday. This Thursday, right? Yeah. Amazon is next Thursday. So, you know, not only do we have, so this week we have financials, but next week we're going to have tech, Netflix, we're going to have Tesla, Microsoft, Snap, Amazon. So I'm excited to get back into the swing of things, trading some actual catalysts, trading some actual data, because the market has just been flip-flopping on all this political news. So I'm very excited to get back into the swing of things. So hopefully... You know, thankfully, I'm feeling better. Hopefully, I stay that way. I, I I don't have the Ronas, so you know we'll 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 see what happens here. So I just want to do a quick video. If you watch this video to the end, comment, watch to the end, and as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us for certain.